Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth, and welcome back to another video, folks. We are back again in Diablo 4. We're carrying on from where we last left off. And before I get into the video, I just wanted to take a couple of seconds to thank you all for choosing to click on this video and choosing to spend your time with me. I really do appreciate it. So we are pretty much in this, um, I guess we can, call, we can call it a dungeon, I guess. Uh, or, you know, just following the story, seeing what it takes us. So far, so good. I'm quite impressed with how things are looking in terms of the story. The graphics are pretty decent. And uh, so is the gameplay. But yeah, we're going to continue with this. And um, I do intend to finish Diablo 4. So far, um, I'm actually quite captivated by the story it has to tell. Let's see where we get with it. So I'm quite curious to find out. Tell you what, some of these enemies are definitely <laughs> taking more hit than um, than I expect to take down. They can be, they can be quite tough. Let's see. Okay, we've kind of got two choices here. And normally I'm just going to take a guess at where I want to go. I mean, luckily, it's not been too much of a maze. Mostly all paths tend to lead to the same place, more or less. Alright. Taking a bit of damage there. <laughs> Just going to quickly check out what we got this way. Ooh. Going to need to heal. Oh, I'm getting these buttons mixed up. <laughs> uh, right. I've lost a few of my minions here. Going to have to top them up. There we go. Alright, fighting a level 10 oppressor. Trying to make use of the corpse explosion. Trying to get used to that. Although, I feel like if everything goes smooth, that'll just be my backup plan. Uh, Alright, these are all dead. Yeah, okay, so they... The, the path kind of led to the same place. It's just like a little circle. That's fine. I can deal with that. I'm not ready yet. Hey, we have a door here. This area. It looks like the same kind of magic as before. I think I can dispel it. All right, here we go. Oh, I want to spell cast. Um, oh no, All right, hold on a bit. I've done a shoot, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button here. I, I might die here, folks. I'm not sure. Okay, hold on a bit. How do I get out of this? Oh, boy. This is bad for me. All right, let me try to figure out what's going on here. I'm just going to run around. Okay, there we go. I think this might be it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Need potions. <laughs> that was very costly, nearly. Yeah, I was trying to cast Corpse Explosion there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't really know what I must have pressed um, accidentally, but yeah, somehow I opened up the chat and uh, I didn't know how to get out of it. <laughs> that is the wrong place to be learning stuff or be doing stuff like that. I see an icon next to my health. Okay, I think I'm going in the right place. Oh, I think it's this way, isn't it? Yeah, I see a little icon next to my little potion thing, uh, which I'm wondering if that means that I need to upgrade it. I will follow you to the end of sanctuary, mother. There she is. Mother, 
you ill? You're just in time. Beyond this lake lies the necropolis of the firstborn. A trove of magic and knowledge. I opened the way for Lilith. But I could not pass through with her. I... I lack divine element, you see. Stop. But I can find it. I'm so close. I simply need... Mother, stop! Look at what Lilith has done to you. You're writing in your own blood. My little magpie. She awakened me. She showed me things... I can't even put into words. Once I've finished, you will understand. I don't care what she showed you. Please, let's just get out of here. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, clever magpie. Trying to lead me away so you can take all this for yourself. Hmm? <laughs> this is my discovery, not yours. I will finish these runes with your blood. Okay, that didn't look too good. Um, if you heard any noises in the background whilst the um, <laughs> uh, dialogue was going on, I was just me drinking some water. Uh, my mouth does feel a bit dry sometimes, so yeah, just had uh, a bit of a sip there. Tell you what, this hell spawn has taken a bit of a beating. Ouch! And has given one back as well. <laughs> I got caught in the wrong place, did not know that I should not be there, so I guess there's a platform that I need to be on. It's really annoying when they do wander off though. Try and stay out of that, whoop, maybe not. I have lost my skeletons, so... It's now on me. Ooh, I'm taking a bit of a beating there, oof. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. First death. I cannot use Come on, let me through. A priest. He must be from the escort's legal scent. A gift she's given me. What has she done? I'm going to be honest and say, I don't really like your gifts. And I don't think they like me either. <laughs> Please don't go into the red flavy thing. Okay, I can follow now. From safe this uh, I need to get out. <laughs> Alright, I guess we swap targets. These things move around a bit. Try and get some skeletons up here. Trying to get these hell spawns. They they actually move about a bit. And I got stunned. Okay, that's I think one down maybe. I'm running out of potions here. <laughs> I need more essence. Oh, we got spinny things on the floor. We got so much uh, as far as environmental hazards. I'm just going to have to run through them. I wanted them potions. Oh, try and raise this dude. And get another one there. There we go. This is actually quite tough. <laughs> it's just really frustrating when they go into the things I can't go after them, so where I, where I can't follow them. It does add to the difficulty here. Alright, gone. Got me some skeletons back up. That should helpfully 
Right, I'll grab that. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I've got five skeletons. I don't know how much use these guys are. Okay, this guy's big. I'll take out the big dude, the pit lord. Tell you what, my skeletons die pretty quickly. I'm guessing the big reason they die would probably be related to all the little environmental hazards that the the boss drops on the floor so you know they're not smart enough to stay out of it <laughs> I have no potions. right now I'm out of potions this might be death number two uh, yep yep there's no potions for me trying to cast yeah never mind okay well I got further than I did before so you know I am definitely improving here there we go come on let's go let's go go I like the fact that the game recognizes when you're at the boss that you need to have skeletons and you don't have them so it just spawns them in for you that is definitely very useful Albeit the skeletons aren't the brightest of uh, creatures. <laughs> they do like to sit in environmental hazards. There you go. And that's how I get um, to lose some skeletons. You know, this uh, hell spawn just pretty much kites them into its own environmental hazards. Uh, right. Um. Oh. Knock back. Let's try and get some skellies up. Ooh, a lot of hurt. Oop, I'm stunned. I was going to go for that potion that was there that despawned. So that's a thing. You can't save them for later. <laughs> Which is what I was going for. Um, I'm going to have to create some new potions by hitting these guys. E yep, right. I'm down to my last skeleton. I'm gonna have to spawn some more in in a bit. That stun is painful. <laughs> oh, I've taken a bit too much in terms of damage there. Let me get some of these guys up. It'll keep all the NPCs uh, a bit focused on something other than me, hopefully. Right. Let me go and get that. And there was one. Well, no, that despawned as well. <laughs> See, right now, corpse explosion isn't that useful. I think I might die again. Don't think I stand many chances there to... Ah, I thought I heard it drop. I'll take that. Right. Oh, there's nothing else I can use. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with all of the other fellas around here before I actually deal with the hell spawns. But uh, I'm taking too much damage. I'm not ready yet. Oh, there's a potion there. I need it. I want it. Alright, I'm going to go and get it. Trying to avoid some damage here. There we go. That's going to keep me alive for a bit longer. Try and keep my skeletons up. Uh, that might be my only chance, you know. I need more essence. If I can get this guy down, which is a bane of my existence right now. He has a lot of health. Just going to run around. Get some skill. Oh, I don't know what that was. Right. Try and get some of these guys up again. If they can play with the big guy. It's really interesting. As soon as I get them up by the looks of things, they just basically fall back 
down just like me. <laughs> so I'm learning the mechanics. There's a, a quite a few things to dodge. Uh, let me see if I have anything that I can improve on gear wise that would probably make a bit of a difference. Now, see, everything's. Oh, hello. Saw something. Uh, it'll have to do. A bit of extra damage. I uh, can't use that. There's no point in having that. That's fine. Alright, let's give this another go. That's one down. Let me just quickly. Um, I was going to grab that, but I've noticed that I'm alright on health. To me, it felt like the health spawn went down a bit quicker than before. Tell you what. I don't know if it's just a placebo, but uh, changing out that weapon seems to have made a bit of a difference. I don't know if I did anything with that corpse explosion. There are a lot of things blowing up. And I'd like to think that maybe they did something. Uh, let me grab that. Yep. Health is going down. But, I'm doing alright, I think. Just grab some of these guys up. Uh-oh. I think she spawned... Yep, yep. She spawned some more bad guys around here. Some more little minions here. suppose I can use these to... Keep my minions up. I don't want to blow them all up. Having minions up definitely makes a difference. Grab that. I'm definitely doing better than I did in the last couple of tries. Whoop. I don't knock back. This is the phase I struggle with. I'm also constantly looking at the health of my minions here. Well, the health, the, the number of my minions. Oh, I forgot to heal there. And I had so many potions. <laughs> Alright, quite a few deaths here. Just having a look here now, just to see if there's anything else that I can do to slightly improve. I, can, I, I think, actually, do you know what? Let me see, I've got two points here. I'm just going to be checking out what I can do. feel like this would be a good investment right now. Is there anything else I could use? Maybe Reap. It's a bit of extra added damage or Bone Spear. Bone Spear is good for long range, so I think it's... Uh, I'm happy with that. Corpse Explosion. Um, it's useful, but a lot of stuff just involves moving around a lot, so I don't really see... How corpse explosion is going to help in the scenario. So let's see if this actually makes a difference. I mean, just changing out the weapons felt like it did. So I guess the logic behind it is if things stay up less, I lose less health because I'm not fighting too many things. So I guess Reap and uh, Bone Spear are my bread and butter, so to speak. These. Spawns are going down a lot quicker, so that's actually quite beneficial for me. Let me just grab this before it despawns. Yep, yeah, get a knockback there. Okay, we've got a spare potion there, which probably will despawn, by the way. Yeah, there we go. It despawned. Yep. 
Okay, that's uh, one of these guys down. I need to get some more skeletons up. Just to keep the chaos going. Oof. Alright, I don't want to be caught in that one. I do want to take him down. There we go. Grab that. I need more essence. Let's get some more skeletons up. I am leaving my health until very low, which is actually quite a dangerous thing to do. It only takes a small miscalculation and then, yeah. Well, we've seen how that turns out <laughs> when I calculate really poorly. But yeah, I probably shouldn't leave it. I mean, I don't want to waste the health potion, that's the thing. Take this one down if I can. That's one down. Got three more and a big guy. I can get two of these guys down. Two of these health spawn down. Okay. Definitely going to need some minions here. <laughs> right. Let's grab some more of these guys. If I can. I'm trying to move. And stay mobile here. But there's a lot of things going on. I'm not ready yet. Right, Pit Lord. Uh, he's following me around. He doesn't like me. <laughs> I still seem to have one skeleton in the game. So let's get these guys back up. I'm not ready uh, buy me some time here. That's another one of those... Uh, whatever they're called. Hell spawns down. But the skeletons, they seem to die really quickly, but they are actually quite useful in a way. I'm out of uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> that was a very close call. Fun fight. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that took a few tries, a few tries, a few attempts. I don't know what I wanted to say there. I'm trying. I really am. We're going to make Lilith pay for what she's done. So we need blessed blood. Go back to your brother. Get that blessing. Beg if you need to. Whatever it takes. My mother started this damn ritual. I'm going to finish it. Meet me in the Mistral Woods. Why there? The Haradrim hid a vault there. Finding it was her life's work. So much for that. Maybe it will help with the ritual. If not, but at least I can bury her where she'd want. I need time. I'm sorry. Just leave me. Okay, well, in my defense, she was the one trying to kill us. Uh, just want to point that out. So, yeah. I know I killed your mother, but... Uh, yeah. So, interesting. We can't swim. <laughs> Water is a boundary. Uh, it's fine. I need more time. Well, I guess we're going to have to walk out of this um, maze of a thing. Let me just quickly have a look here. Tell you what, these Diablo vaults are pretty darn large. Alright, um, having a look around here. Trying to see how I need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Basically, it's where I need to go. Um, Okay, I'm very easily confused, and uh, right now, I'm going to admit, I am a bit confused. 
I'm trying to remember how to get out, but uh, yeah, sometimes my memory kind of doesn't work the way I want it to. So, oh, we gotta fight some stuff here. That's fine. We can deal with that. That nah, wrong button there. I wanted to top up and hold on a bit. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take these guys on. I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction here. But, as I have said before, generally speaking, okay, there, there was a quicker way. Um, well. Ah. Uh, yeah, generally all paths lead to the same place, so that's kind of cool about Diablo. But uh, yeah, see, I didn't want to check the map there because I thought I'd be checking it too frequently, but uh, I guess I should have done that. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got some skeletons. That's not mine. Might as well deal with it. I thought it'd be showing me where I need to go, but yeah. Oh, hello. There's a captain. I mean, it is useful having the skeletons. Um, I just need to kind of get used to using them in boss fights. Okay, so I come up this way. I feel like I'm going in the right general direction. Oh, there's another one right here. <laughs> this is always going to be fun when you have to follow your minions about as they aggro on things. I mean, on the bright side, though, it will absolutely help with gaining XP, which I'm going to need. You know, every little count. Oh, a bit of loot for me. That's fine. Okay, that's a lot of bad guys. I mean, this is Diablo, so... There we go. A bit of corpse explosion right there, just to make a mess. <laughs> Might as well pick that up. Stay topped up on health. Don't know what that is. Uh, okay, cool. Wow, that's good damage. That. This is actually quite fun.
Okay. Apparently I can use wands. That makes a lot of sense. I guess um, a necromancer would be a caster of, of, of sort, I guess. Uh, I can use that, maybe. Oh, that's even better. That's fine. Well, I need a key. I wouldn't even know where to get that key from. A lot of bats there. There we go. Grab that health potion. Okay. Is this somewhere I need to go? I'm going to be honest and say that I'm not quite sure right now where I need to go. I'm hoping that this is um, in the right general direction, but I wouldn't know right now. Uh, I'm definitely confused about which way to go. Well, that tree went down mighty quick. Honestly, I'm hoping that this is the right direction. Well, I do have a marker. Okay. I see now. That's why I didn't recognize anything. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Who are you? An admirer of sorts. I saved you in the mountains. You'd lost your horse and crawled into that cave. Would have frozen to death if not for me. Why are you helping me? Oh, it's very simple. You want to stop Lilith, and I want you to succeed. But you'll never do that by following the Horadrim. Their path always ends in fire and death. Seen enough. Open the door. Why 
Why are you telling me all this? To warn you. A day will come when the Haradrim stumble. Don't be there when they do. The portal will lead you to that little girl you're looking for. Interesting, and definitely interesting background here. Let's ask some more, uh, some more questions here, because I'm quite curious. Tristram, the Horodrum of old imprisoned Diablo, the Lord of Terror beneath the earth. And then they built this town nearby. <laughs> you can see how that turned out. I like the world the way it was, without Lilith. Her little game of rebellion will only lead to chaos. You've already seen visions of the damage she can do. Yes, I know you were fed her blood. Do you feel it changing you? Perhaps not yet. But as long as Lilith walks in your world, it is only a matter of time. Hmm. Interesting. Right, okay, well, now, now that explains a lot more. Uh, that's why I didn't recognize anything for a second there. Trail to the vault ends here, so it should be somewhere around in these woods. Okay. I was just thinking, you know, it would be curious to, to see how Blizzard edit these things uh, in terms of a map editor. Like events and whatnot. It'd be quite curious. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see it eventually. Uh, there's that. Oh, hello. Three faced statue. Aha. Here we are. So I'm guessing that we're now out of the illusion. Oh, I see. The path is different now. The statue is the source of an illusion. We must be close. I'm not ready yet. Finally. The Horodric Vault. Okay, I guess we go in. Not what I expected. But let's not give up hope. All we need is one book, one spell, to help us cross the Black Lake. Lilith. Okay. I do wonder how many bad things we'll find in here. <laughs> Sealed shut. What of the passage over there? Okay. Um I'll have a look. I'll bite. <laughs> I mean I don't have a choice right now at this point in time. Oh, hello. Yeah, they seem to have a bat infestation here. I think that was it. Uh, Alright. It would appear so. Other than that, 
and there's really nothing that I can see. There's a mirror there, that looks pretty cool. Disturbing, but cool. Not a lot of stuff I can interact with. I'm not ready yet. This is I think it's written in Horatric code. And here, the same symbol on the door. I have an idea. You might want to take a step back. Okay. If you say so. Is this back enough? <laughs> Chess piece shot. Let's keep on. I wish mother was here. Hey, wait for me. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's cool. I like that spinny thing in the background. I wonder what purpose it has. It's the same seal as before. Should be easy enough to break it again. But why would someone use it here? One way to find out. Of course. We can't let anything stop our pursuit of Lilith. I'll open the door. And if we split up... We'll work faster that way. Only if you stay on this side of the door. Fine. What am I looking for? Don't you know? A book, a scroll, or anything that will help us cross the Black Lake. Chess beat shot! Well, this looks a bit dangerous. And unvisited for quite some time. Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a pentagram on the floor there. I mean I think the red glow was a bit of a giveaway as to what to expect. At least they fall mighty quick. I do like the little crown on my head, not gonna lie. <laughs> I think it looks pretty decent for a necromancer. Eh, this thing spawned. Okay, that, you're, you're the reason that thing spawned. Long sword. Tell you what, this Herodric vault so far is actually quite large. And on the assumption that this is built underground, um, I can only imagine all the work that must have gone into it. And now it's abandoned by the looks of things. But yeah, uh, quite a large thing this. <laughs> and full of demons as well. And I thought these guys are supposed to fight the demons or be against the demons. So what are demons doing here? Yeah. Okay. Don't get me wrong. It looks really nice. So I'm looking at the background as I'm also trying to stay alive. And uh, just trying to admire the beautiful artwork, so to speak. I mean, it's all... Um, I suppose demonic themed um, but the detail is quite nice whoa that's a bit of a maze um, not quite sure which way I need to go so 
Gonna have to do a bit of exploration here. One question just popped into my head, you know, um, I was just thinking about it. I mean, there's caves, right? The, this is this is built inside a cave. Generally speaking, caves tend to be quite damp. Does that mean that this whole place smells like uh, moldy fungus or like dampness or whatnot? Hey, there's a portal here. Can't do much with it. It looks nice. But yeah, I mean, there's a bit of... Uh, a red glow, so maybe that's lava or something. Hello. Right. We have a boss fight here. Hopefully I don't know it too many times. Whoop. Trying to avoid the fire beams, I think, would be a good way to go about it. That knockback, though. <laughs> it's like almost as if I'm not doing any damage. I don't know what's going on there, right? Okay. Um, yeah, it's almost as if I'm not doing damage to this boss. I'm doing that that little amount of damage. It feels like I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm guessing this boss will have a lot of HP then. So I have lost a skeleton. On the bright sign, it would appear as if my skeletons are taking the bulk of the damage right now. Which is kind of good for me, but uh, yeah, I'm down to one right now. <laughs> I still have a few potions I can use. Uh, I was just curious there if I could do anything. Okay. Let's grab this. Oof, I'm being knocked all over the place. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I'm now down to zero skeletons. She doesn't have a lot of health. Ah, sweet. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was interesting. But yeah, going back to my question. How, what would this place feel and smell like is uh, basically what I was going at. To take this back to Nerel. Normally caves have a certain smell about them. I'm trying to envision what this would be like. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be hot. Based off the glow. Um, I don't understand why there's a red glow to it. Unless it... Uh, no, it still doesn't make sense. But yeah. It definitely would be an interesting experience being here. I need more time. Anyways. Let's crack on with the rest of the stuff. I'm going to make my way to uh, Nerel here. And, uh, yeah, I have a path to, to go back. But that is probably where I'm going to end the video for now. So, you know, uh, you guys can join me in the next one. I don't think I'll interact with her as such. I'll save that for the next video. Yep. Wrong way. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I should be checking my minimap. But sometimes I forget that I have a mini map and just kind of look at the area surrounding my character and just kind of go off of that. I'm not ready yet. All right. Hmm. 
There we go. We are nearly back. I hope you had more luck than me. Uh, it was tough luck, but yeah, I did have it. Anyways, we're going to end the video here. Thank you all so very much for choosing to click on this video and choosing to spend your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Join me, folks, in the next episode. Uh, I'm going to continue the story, and so far, so good. I'm definitely thoroughly enjoying the game and the story that it has to share, at least so far. Until next time, stay safe, folks.